One more freshly dug grave awaiting the body of a Ukrainian soldier, this time in the city of Kopichinsi. Towns in the west, far from the front lines, aren't spared the burden of loss. Ivan Polanski was 23, a soldier with an artillery unit. His brother, Dmitro, also a soldier, was given leave to attend the funeral. He was the best person I have ever known. I've never seen such a warrior, he says, twice decorated for bravery. Polanski signed up three days after the Russian invasion, the city back then already determined to be an important part of the war effort, supporting the army and displaced civilians. A year later, the mayor, Bogdan Kalichauvi, says they are no less determined. We don't have to wait for the future, we have to work towards the future. With the help of his wife, Maria Tuzik, a Canadian, they've created a humanitarian hub. They also want to better integrate the displaced into the community. There's still a lot of vulnerability in the country. There's still a lot of people that are struggling, and we want to help them. The town has opened its doors to businesses from the east seeking to relocate in the west. It helps Kopichinsi too, of course, by creating jobs. This warehouse is now home to furniture makers from Kharkiv. They had to rescue their high-tech equipment from the battlefront. We've gone through a lot, says Sergei Khromov. We were hoping the war would end much earlier, but the end isn't in sight yet. A realization for Tuzik, too, when her parents sent her a plane ticket to Toronto asking her to visit. I didn't know how tired and how exhausted I was until I was there and there was not like everything was happening around me. She now realizes war is not a sprint, she says, but a marathon. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Kopichinsi.